almost. Cinema series. Oh, it's like a nice, easy sticker to open. That's uh, just use my eyeballs next time. Ooh, sticker, instructions, fancy lens cloth, soft case with built-in lens cloth. Oh yeah. Super soft, hard case, like the softest of cases. And inside you have the money item. Check out these tasty uh, quartz line ND filters. Delicious, look at that. Mm, ND 1000, that's like pure black. You take this, place it into your hand, it completely vanishes and then you are, did, you are you're done, you're good to go. You got, you got nothing. That's, that's the way I store my filters, just to you know, save bag space. <laughs>
So that look is going to make your films, your projects, if you're working for somebody, yourself, for a corporation, anything, it's gonna make your projects, your work more professional. That's using an ND. Now we're gonna talk about something called a polarizer. If you've never heard of it, it's also a filter that screws on the front of your lens, but what this is going to do is bring out more of the blues in the sky. So it's gonna punch those colors, it's gonna extract that nice saturation from these very vibrant scenes that may not otherwise be picked up from your camera as vibrant as you see them. A good example of this is when I went to the Bahamas a couple years ago, I made sure to shoot all my tropical photos with the polarizer on because it made those blues way darker and richer blue. It really pulls that out. Another good thing is using these polarizers on your drone shot because your drone footage is going to look even better and more colorful when you have a polarizer on them. But my favorite use for a polarizer, because they're also known to cut reflections out of windows, is if you're doing a time lapse from a hotel window and you have that reflection in the background of your actual room that you're staying in, you want to get rid of that, you throw a polarizer on, it's going to cut right through the glass and look amazing. And then it also doubles as giving you that reflection. You'll notice a lot of Hollywood directors and DPs use polarizers to get the reflection out of a car window when you see someone driving in a really cinematic scene. Half their face is perfectly exposed and the other half might be all the trees passing on the road that they're driving in and that is one of my absolute favorite types of shooting styles when I see that in a movie. It's super cinematic, it looks incredible, and you're gonna get that with a polarizer. I'm pretty sure that was already two minutes, so <laughs> I apologize. I mean, no, I'm not sorry. We're crushing good content right here. All right, next up is something called the Black Pro Mist. Now you might be like, what is that, Pete? What does that even mean? Now let's be honest, when you see big blown out highlights in your camera footage with your shooting with your DSLR or whatever, it doesn't always look that nice, but a Pro Mist filter is gonna kind of bloom those highlights. It's gonna make everything look a lot more soft and glowy and dreamlike. This is a Pro Mist, it just looks like a UV filter. But if you we were to hold that in front of the camera right now, you might even notice around my ears or around my face, it's just a little more soft and cinematic. Now I'm not threading this on because I'm literally just holding it to the lens, hey. But if I move it away, I think you'll probably see the difference, especially when you're outside. So again, if you replay that footage, you just skip back like 10 seconds, you'll notice when that Pro Mist was on, my skin looks a lot softer. So does that neon sign in the background, opposed to the harshness of those highlights without a Pro Mist. Ooh, just loving this, loving this topic. Okay, lastly, you can throw a UV filter on your lens. Now, you've probably heard of that. Those are the most common, the most popular. Usually when you buy a new lens, you throw a UV on it. I can't say with like absolute certainty that I even see much of a difference with the UV haze filter. The reason I do like them though is because if you're spending a lot of your hard-earned money on a lens, that's gonna protect the front element. So if you drop it, if something hits it, if water gets on it, anything like that, a knife, maybe you're shooting the thumbnail for eight camera hacks in 90 seconds, you just have that filter on the front to make sure that that it's protecting your investment. So that's why I like them. And the last pro tip is something called a step up ring that looks like this. There's no glass on it. That may have blown your mind right there. It blew mine originally. But what it is, is a filter that filters on. We're good. It's a fashion. Seriously, Peter? It's a fashion accessory. You could, you could like Jennifer Lopez hoops right there. We're not gonna, let's get back on topic. So what the step up ring or step down ring does is you screw and you thread your filter onto it and then this is gonna allow you to thread this onto your camera. Not having to buy the same Pro Mist or polarizer or ND size for every lens that you own, right? Cause some lenses are 82, some lenses are 77. You've got so many different diameters of lenses that like you don't wanna have to buy the same ND filter for every single single diameter lens that you have. That's why you get something like a step up or a step down ring, and then you can just screw your existing filters onto it and fit your lenses without having to break the bank. So I'm gonna list all of this stuff in the description below. If you wanna check all of those links out below. And I should say, I just replaced all of my filters, everything, my UVs, my polarizers, my NDs with Polar Pro's new lineup. They are friends of mine and they uh, they just came out with all of their filters that we know for drones, because we all love those. They got them for like the Phantom, the Mavic, all that stuff. They just brought out a whole new quartz line for DSLRs, which is incredible. And they come with like everything. This is the only company I've ever seen to include a soft case, a hard case, a built-in lens cloth in the soft case, the great quality filters that you are seeing in my hands that I'm using right now. So again, I've linked all that stuff below as well. And this is 
is a little bit of what that packaging looks like. You get a lens cloth, a soft case with it, and the hard case that the filter comes in. But I take it out of this hard case, peace, which is really nice by the way, and it's also labeled so you know which filter you have. But I throw it in this soft case because it's very slim, nice profile, Velcro's shut. Also has the uh, the model of the filter that you're using on the top left corner, so you can, if you have them stacked, you can just kind of go through them like records and figure out which one's yours. And then when you open it up, it's just nice and soft inside. But my favorite part is the fact that they actually have a built-in lens cloth inside this nice soft packaging, so you can clean your filter off right before you put it on, or you can wrap it in the cloth and then actually place that in the bag. So when you go to grab it, you're already grabbing the cloth and not just putting your fingers, your dirty little meat hooks all over your super nice clean NDs. Boom, that's what I call thinking through a product design. <sighs> all right guys, so that is it for today. That is your two minute Tuesday. That was probably more than two minutes. Uh, I hope you guys got something out of that. Again, all the links are listed below. These are tools that are pretty inexpensive that are gonna make a massive difference in your both your photography and your video. These filters aren't only just for video purposes. Like if you wanna do long exposures of water or time lapses or traffic driving by, an ND is gonna help you with that as well. So these are really cheap, for the most part, applications that are gonna get you really not cheap results. That's why I wanted to share this with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get something out of it. If you have questions, list them below. Let's start that conversation and until next time, hit that like button if you like this video, smash it if that's something that you're into, subscribe if you aren't already, and, and, mm, I will see you in the next video for, I'm not gonna give it away, you guys know that, peace.